Mold and mildew in the kitchen, paint chipping from the walls. Target 11 first reported on the conditions inside this East Liberty Fire Hall four years ago. Now it's finally closing down for repairs, sending firefighters to Stanton Heights, Squirrel Hill and Lincoln Lemington. Target 11's Rick Earl is live for us and Rick, the head of the firefighters union told you he wouldn't be surprised if more stations close. Yeah, Peggy, that's exactly right. He said more stations may have to close temporarily for repairs in the near future, but he says he's confident that the plan in place will provide the same level of fire response. Work crews completing repairs at the fire station in East Liberty discovered more serious structural problems. There's some serious structural problems with the hose tower at the building. Uh, we need to do it. We need to do it now. Uh, and in order to do the work for everybody's safety, we had to move the firefighters out. The city plans to temporarily close this station and relocate firefighters and engines to three nearby stations, the closest in Stanton Heights, 1.6 miles away. Obviously, our first reaction was we were concerned that we we're going to be able to adequately respond to the citizens in that area. So the city has made efforts to make sure that we have uh, adequate coverage. Four years ago, Target 11 exposed health and safety issues, including black mold, water leaks, and chipped paint at the same fire station and others around the city. You're talking about a city that basically didn't put any real dollars uh, into any of their facilities for the last 15, 20 years during the tough financial times. It was band-aids uh, at best. After years of neglect, the administration has now been working to upgrade fire, police and EMS stations. They did some interior yeah. cosmetics, addressed a few issues with leaks and things like mm -hmm. that uh, that we were happy with at that point. Now it's a more of a structural area that uh, they need to address. Yeah. And those structural repairs will take three to six months to complete. Once it's fixed, all of the firefighters and their equipment will return to that station in East Liberty. That is the very latest reporting live downtown at City Hall tonight. Rick Earl, Channel 11 News.